Pokemon gym leaders have been a mainstay of the Pokemon franchise. I except Legends of Arceus and Pokemon Sun and Moon and every single Pokemon spinoff, I guess. But who cares? Gym leaders are cool. But what if there was a Pokemon game that lets you become a gym leader in all of its glory? Well, this is Pokemon This Gym of Mine. It's a fan game that aims to give you that exact experience. First things first, we have to figure out what Pokemon type our gym is. My chat chose Steel type since they thought it would be super overpowered early game. So we chose a Pharaoh seed named Acorn as our signature Pokemon and got to work. It was time to move to our new city, and we started off by getting off the boat and meeting the mayor, Dalton. He was pretty nice, but he let us know that the last gym leader had kind of left the town to rot, and it was pretty clear some people still held a grudge. Are you the new gym leader? I wish the best for you. Here, take this. Now that you've accepted my gift, please promise me something. Promise me you won't leave in Ball City the same way the other gym leader did? That's a lot to put on me, but I... Outside of everyone being rude, this city seems pretty empty. There's no buildings here. I guess as gym leader, we'll have to rebuild them ourselves. At least then we'll probably get on their good side. A local news anchor is clamoring on how much of a disappointment you'll be as a gym leader. Well, before we get any of that done, we have to meet with the mayor and actually figure out how this whole gym thing works. And on our way to City Hall, we had a bit of a run-in with the local gang, the Rough Riders. The city is no longer named in ball. Its new name is Garbage City. Well, call me intimidated. Nice and easy, but how? Anyways, now that we've taken care of that and totally not gotten the attention of anyone evil, it was time to meet our actual employees, our gym trainers who will be taking care of our gym. Unlike the townspeople, I'm sure they're gonna be really nice and supportive of us. He's gone. Finally, I can stop keeping the smile up. <laughs> You better keep up. We don't want you just lazing around like the last gym leader. They did a heel turn so fast! Now they're mean! I'm just saying, you couldn't have pretended to be nice for even 30 minutes? Are you kidding me? Well, anyways, even though they suck, we still have a job to do. We need to open our gym. But before that, if you haven't noticed, we're a Steel-type gym with only one Steel-type Pokemon, which means we're not allowed to take on challengers. We need to catch at least two more. Our first goal is to catch Pokemon of our actual type, which for us is Steel, and that might be a bit difficult to find. Craggy Pass, that sounds like we should find like Rock and Steel types, right? Supposedly, if we lose enough battles as a gym leader, they'll fire us, which is, uh, not great. What the fuck is that? Well, apparently this game has regional variants, which is awesome, but unfortunately this is only a Fire Rock type, so it didn't really help me much. Cast Iron Cave. That sounds like a place we catch some steel types. Let's see if we can actually catch Pokemon in here. Oh, just another Onyx. Yeah, you know, when doing this, I didn't consider how rare steel types are. But there's one right now! Okay, Magnemite. Magnemite is an awesome Pokemon for us. Getting this Magnemite is a huge win for us. The only issue is it would be the only one. Because as much as I looked in this cave, I could not find another Steel type to save my life. A trainer had this regional Aaron, which was a dragon type, and I just did not like its design. What can I say? It looks like a little goblin baby. That shit has opposable thumbs. That ain't right. So reluctantly, we had to catch a second Magnemite so we would have three Pokemon and we could finally open our gym. We have our team, one Furrow Seed, two Magnemites. Let's take on the gym, or no, let's, let me think about that. Sorry, that's a force of habit. Let's let other people take on our gym. Start the day. Let's take on some challengers. I'll show you what I've got. This is our first gym challenger, y'all. Last Ellen, she only has two Pokemon. Oh, we might have uh, we might have over leveled for this. So we were a little stronger than we should have been. That's fine. The trainers will get stronger over time. The way the gym leader system works is every trainer you defeat, whether it's in or outside of your gym, gains you reputation points. And as you gain more reputation as a very tough and good gym leader, stronger people will come to challenge you. And the trainers that challenge your gym will get stronger as well. One day they might have a Hatena, and the next day they'll have a Hatrim. This is a great way for a game that mostly takes place in the same city to stay fresh and keep challenging you with higher level Pokemon. H how many of these battles do we have to do consecutively? Do we just go until we lose? All the trainers. Oh, okay. Time to close up the gym. Head straight home or go to the break room. Sometimes your gym trainers will gather there. Some of them might give you items as well. Yeah, let's go to the break room. Hell yeah. Girl, hey Moop. You're going out there looking for a quick chat. Keep on smiling, Moop. 
You don't look good with a frown. Ma'am, telling me to smile in the workplace constitutes workplace harassment. I am your superior. I am your direct manager. So please check yourself before you talk to me in such a manner again. I'm sorry you all had to see that. I'm sorry you all had to see that. I don't like bringing out that side of me. Human resources complaints aside, running the gym was going great. We were smoothly defeating every single challenger that came our way. And at this time, I realized I needed more variety in my Pokemon. Having two Magnemites just wasn't gonna do it. We still needed more Steel types. Luckily, I had just discovered a new cave down south. What's in here? The Cavern of Knowledge. What's in here? Yo! That's a new steel type, baby! So, our meet our latest member of the party and arguably the best One Piece character. That's awesome to find. Are there more steel types in here? Yo! Oh my god, it's Christmas Day! Y'all, we're trying to build a team of only steel types, so we just got Beldum and Hone Edge? Excuse me? As a steel type gym leader, it only feels right that I have a Metagross on the team. But I tried to catch this Beldum, and I tried to catch another, and another. I caught an Aaron we named Goober. But finally, I was reaching a boiling point with these Beldums. I have one Pokeball left, sir. And if I waste it on you right now, I'm gonna run away and I'm gonna let you survive. And I'm gonna let you watch every other Beldum I meet die and you get to live on knowing that that is on you that their lives are because of your refusal to comply or and here's the great part is you get a choice you get in the ball you stay you let it dance around three times and then it sparkles to celebrate a union of two people man and pokemon and you get to make sure that no beldum ever gets to see the light through my hands again make your choice right now last pokeball make your choice the choice is made and every Beldum lived happily ever after, just don't think about it. But we still have our gym duties to attend to, and some of the local trainers wanted to sort of test our metal. <laughs> Get it, because we're a Steel-type gym? Is this about the genocide of Beldums? Because they were asking for it! Elizabeth, what brings you here? You know exactly why. You think I'm gonna let another gym leader waltz in here and not test them, especially after the last one? Listen, gym leader, I'll be waiting in front of the gym. No limits on your team. All right, Moop, you'd better not hold back. If you do, I won't forgive you. Bring it on. How bad could this be? Wait, best trainer in town! She has a level eight Clefairy? You know, I think everything will be all right. I guess I was just overreacting. Yeah, you think? You insulted me. Well, at least we're officially gym rank two now, which means one, we should actually probably start rebuilding this town, and two, we can find tougher Pokemon out in the wild. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, what the fuck is this? And I needed some tougher Pokemon, because frankly, I was struggling a little bit in taking on gym challengers now, and the last thing I want to do is start losing. So I began looking around for tougher Pokemon, and pretty soon I found a couple, such as Chomp at the Mawile and Slap Chomp the Pawn Yard. Now we would have no trouble defeating gyms again, especially since both our Aaron and Hone Edge had just evolved. We even caught some new Pokemon like a Drillbur. Things were going pretty well, but we still had the issue of the Rough Riders. I think today, more than any other day, we gotta focus on taking on the Biker Gang, right? We're gonna head out, we're gonna go west of that damn cave, and we're gonna kick some ass. Show them who's boss. We are a full-fledged gym leader. Okay, we're back at Cast Iron Cave. Also, team check. We have Chompette, the Mawile, Goober the Laron, Slap Chop the Pawn Yard, Acorn the Furrow Seed, and Zoro the Dewblade. And Loco the Smeltix is also here. So, there's that. So, we haven't explored this area, mostly because last time we tried to, all of these evil team people uh, started kicking our ass. But now we outlevel them by quite a bit. So we should be able to just destroy them, right? That's the idea. 
and destroy them we did. We went on a rampage beating up every single biker punk we came across until we found their base. I know you probably won't buy, but I can't let that happen. You see, I'm smarter than most of the others here. I know that you can't touch me. You can only battle me if I challenge you. And you can't use your Pokemon against me without a good reason. So unless one of my cohorts kidnap your grandma or something, scram. Well, shit, he's got us there, right? Curses this foul trickery. I guess I'll just have to go back to being a gym leader. And you know what? It's kind of our job, so it makes sense. We were taking on challengers and we were doing really well. So I decided that maybe it was time to mend some bridges. I went back and once again tried to catch a Beldum and they didn't get in the ball. I mean, what is it? Is it a race thing at this point? Cause it feels like a race thing. It feels like, you know, I'm Asian American and I, I'm starting to think they don't like that. You know, look at the way they're looking at me. It's, it's not good. <sighs> At the very least, three of our Pokemon had just evolved. And that's awesome, our team was getting a lot stronger. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to start training some of the weaker members of our party. And that's when we ran into just a couple issues. Oh, someone's at the door. Hello? Were we just kidnapped? Oh, Jesus Christ. Welcome to the hideout, gym leader. How's your day going? Horrible, I hope. We just got yoinked. Yeah, so, uh, we were kidnapped, and that sucked. Especially since we were gonna have trouble fighting our way out, because we had, once again, our three weakest Pokemon. This really came at just the worst possible time. But that wasn't gonna stop us. It took a couple tries, and the hardest double battle I've ever had. I mean, they have six Pokemon, I have two, it's not fair. But we managed to get out. And then we got to meet the leader of this so-called Rough Riders. Moop, you've escaped. D -d don't ever do s Okay, well, first of all, we didn't do that. We got kidnapped. You got the whole city worried? They're all looking for you? Feared that the Rogue Riders would try something like this? You could have warned me then. Say that again, old timer. Here comes their leader now, Edgar? I'm sorry, the leader of the Rough Riders' name is Edgar? Edgar sounds like he runs a prep school, not a biker gang. Whoever organized this is definitely gonna get thrashed. We may be crooks, but we still have a rep to keep up, you know? We'll destroy the town all we want, but we draw the line at kidnapping. I clearly was not happy. This town has been nothing but rude to me, and now we had been kidnapped for their sake. So you know what? I deserve a vacation. So we took a nice little trip to a small town in the middle of nowhere just to get away for a bit. We saw a blue Magby, which was an affront to God, and then came back refreshed, ready to once again resume our gym leader duties. But before we do any of that, there's someone I have to make peace with. The Beldums have evolved. They've grown strong enough to become Matangs and move forward. And maybe it was time for our relationship to evolve as well. Once again, I offered them peace. We gather here today for one thing, and one thing only, to catch this Matang. We're playing this music to channel the dead, but not just any dead. The ghosts of every Beldum that we have killed. And Matang, if you get in the ball, I'm willing to admit that I might have been wrong. All of us here are here because we want you on our team to be the best part of our steel type gym. Yes! With Lavender the Matang quickly evolving into a Metagross and us finally finding a Piplup to catch, we were on our way to our dream steel type team. And good thing too, because this town is terrible, being a gym leader here is terrible, and we just got a threatening letter. Edgar, leader of the Rough Riders, it's about time we settled this. Meet me at my chambers in the Badlands. I cannot promise that my gang will stand aside for you, so you better bring your A-team. Let's end this feud. P.S. Don't even think of telling your mayor what's up. What's up? Finally, took you long enough. Tell me, did you chat with the mayor of yours? Doesn't matter, he probably would have out one way or another he's nosy like that anyhow i'm tired of this nonsense the city is tired of this nonsense and i am almost certain you're tired of it too i've trained under the best was taught how to teach a pokemon a move they can't normally learn this fight won't be easy one round our best teams no more nonsense if i win you give up on the town and let us run the show if you win we'll keep hands off the town sound good 
No reason to hesitate. Let's go! Wait, I have one of those. Okay, first off, let's ingrain. Our goal? We're gonna stall them the fuck out. Now curse! Not, see, he's not very effective. They do more damage to themselves than they're gonna be doing to us. There we go. He's done. A power whip is not very effective because this Agron is Dragon and Steel type. This turned out to be an epic battle, each of us losing an equal amount of Pokemon until it came down to our final two. Tyranitar and Metagross. And thank God I made peace with them because they came in clutch and saved the day. Y'all, you know what? We took care of the gang problem. We felt accomplished. With our Empoleon finally reaching its final stage of evolution, we had a complete team, a kick-ass gym, and the townspeople had finally come around. They loved us now. Everything was going right, and it felt like we had finally hit our stride. Until, once again, we got a mysterious letter in the mail. Meet me at the gym. Tell nobody. Sorry for the abrupt meeting. There's something I need to talk to you about. It is of the utmost importance, and I want you to keep prying eyes away. First of all, I need to see just what kind of gym leader are you. Okay, sure. After the toughest battle in our gym leader career, we discovered the truth behind everything with this town. This was the former gym leader, driven out by not the Rough Riders, but the mayor himself, who has been pulling the strings this whole time. He paid the Rough Riders to kidnap us. He drove the townspeople against gym leaders. It was him all along. And now, it was time for the final showdown. It's time! We've put in the work! We've become a better gym leader than they ever thought we would! We've rebuilt the town. We defeated the games. We caught better Pokemon. We made peace with the Beldums. And what stands before us now, you ask? Some old mayor? Someone who thinks that he's better than us? The greatest gym leader to ever live? In that case, I say, bring it the fuck on! We're gonna kick his ass! We got this! I'm better, we are all better. Okay, stop talking, I had the whole monologue already. <laughs> this was an amazing battle. Back and forth, back and forth, losing Pokemon. Gudra, Dragonite, Aegislash, all taking our beautiful champions with them. All until it came down to our final Pokemon. From the beginning, it's been us and Acorn. This entire journey. From fighting random gym trainers, to going out and catching every other motherfucker that was here. It's been us, and our Pharaoh Seed. Now a Pharaoh Thorn! And now, with our powers combined, the two of us will win. Scizor, you are one of the fastest Pokemon. And Acorn is one of the slowest. But we have Gyro Ball. And in the face of our friendship and everything we've been through, you are nothing! And we've won. And that is the final battle of Pokemon. This gym of mine. And with that, our journey as a gym leader had come to a close. The town was now at peace, we were a beloved local gym leader, and the corrupt mayor was put in his place. This was an amazing experience and probably one of the best Pokemon fan games I've played. If you're eager to experience what it's like to make your own gym and be a gym leader, I highly recommend you check it out. It's on Relic Castle, I've included a link in the description. It's a ton of fun. And if you enjoyed this video and you want more Pokemon content, Please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. I live stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with new stuff. So please check it out and I'll see you later.